Hey guys, welcome back to another Sega Mega Drive game history. This time we're playing Alex Kidd Tinku Majo. It was released on February 10th, 1989 in Japan. And if you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps my channel. Shows me you like what I'm doing. Let's check this game out. Alright, let's see how we do on just regular difficulty. And if it's too much, I'll... Uh... I just want to show a little bit of the game off, but I also don't want to get slaughtered like right at the beginning. Because it's, you know, it gets difficult. Alright, what is this? Uh, sure. But then I don't have... It's, uh, paper, rock, scissors. Ooh, I've won. All right, what's in here? Same thing. Uh, no, I'm not spending more of my money to play the paper rock scissors game. I want to play the actual game. I never, I know that Alex Kidd was originally going to be like the mascot of Sega. But then it ended up not working out that way. Uh, yeah, I'll play for 50. Ah, oh, lost. No. A dung beetle. Pushing this shit around. How do you hit that? Maybe punch it? That is hard to hit. Man, I don't mind do it. I want to just kill that guy and then hit this. How do you get out of here? Is there a way to attack the ground? Oh, you can punch the red ones out? Okay, he gets a little... When he runs, he's got a weird run mechanic. I get it. He gets like a pretty good. If you get him running, he gets a pretty good jump. But it's a weird run mechanic. So you gotta get him. Yeah, I wouldn't get past that. You gotta get a run going here. Or just jump these guys. Which is possible, I just did it. If you stay up here though, it seems a little simpler. Right. I just want to get to where like I face a boss or something. Or a good, cool water level. Ooh, this is fun. I know generally people hate water levels. I know water levels are not liked in most games. But I've always been a big fan of water levels. Yeah, I know a lot of people dislike them because they can be overly difficult. But I've always liked that aesthetic. So it's like... That's always been like my favorite levels. It's been like the water levels. Like in Mario, my favorite levels are the water levels. I love Mario Bros. 3, my favorite world, Water World. Or Water Land, I can't remember. It's like land or something, isn't it? Because it's like grassland. Subnautica is one of my favorite more modern games. I 
should face a boss sometime, shouldn't I? I mean, he'll probably, uh... It'll be a paper, rock, scissor fight, I bet, because that's usually how these, this game works. Oh no, shoot. Alright, well if I lose and it doesn't let me continue from here, I will probably call it here, guys. But if it lets me continue from here, then I'll try to get to a boss. Oh, jeez. I just went down here anyway because I don't. That was lucky. I really thought I was gonna hit that guy. All right, beat that level. I'm surprised there ain't been no bosses yet. This may be the last level I do. Ah, shoot. That may end up being anyway. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. I thought I had my foot up. Well, guys, I'm going to call it right there. Uh, that was Alex Kid for the uh, Sega Genesis. That was a fun little game. Uh, definitely give it a shot if you ever get the chance. It's uh, it's enjoyable. It's not Sonic. And, you know, obviously platformers have improved a lot uh, over that. But it wasn't that bad. But that will be it for me. And I'll continue with more uh, game history in the future. And until next time, keep up the positivity.